what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico is utterly heartbreaking for me. And what many people don't realize is how vibrant and alive that ecosystem is. It's absolutely beautiful and diverse and full of coral reefs, deep coral reefs, fish populations, bird populations, sea turtles, sharks, even orcas live in the Gulf of Mexico. So thanks to the arrogance of oil companies and, and decision makers who said this sort of accident could never happen, we are dealing with environmental destruction at an unprecedented scale and I worry that that ecosystem will never return to what it was and that's a public resource that is part of the largest American trust of the American people. Now I know about your expeditions into a beautiful public trust here in Canada here in British Columbia the Great Bear Forest and it's absolutely beautiful. I've seen only your photographs, uh, which have definitely piqued my interest. So I hope to join you someday soon to get out there on a photography expedition. Old growth forest. And just like in the Gulf of Mexico, land and water inseparable, in, completely connected. The ecosystems are not are different but they are related and when I learned about the plans for an oil pipeline to go right through the heart of this system I thought to myself exactly the same sort of thoughts that I'm feeling now about the Gulf of Mexico why would anyone want to take the risk because there is a risk and with with such a priceless environmental treasure and something that doesn't just belong to an oil company. It belongs to all Canadians and really all citizens of the world. It's part of, part of the planet that, sus that sustains us all. I really hope that Canada can learn from the bad lessons of, of us down in the Gulf of Mexico and, and make the right decision about that treasure.